What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how to do a few ways that I do rolls, or they're also called fills, transitions, whatever you want to call them. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is going to be with RPG-8. So, RPG-8. I'm going to go to Utilities, Reason Devices, RPG-8. And I had this connected into the red drum, so I'm just going to move it the connections. Just like that. Now when I select the arpeggiate, I automatically have a roll, so to speak. Change the rate. Can use whatever snare you want. This is the Kilo snare from the Spider Demon drum kit. Uh, we can use this one. Slow down the rate. You can also use multiple drums in that case. You would simply program it rather than using RPG-8. So that's the first way you can do it. The second way I often do it, well, before I go to the second way, I do want to mention that you can use a matrix. Um, if you want to use a matrix, just create the matrix. And you can control the volume here. So you could do it like that. You can also change the rate here. And then you would just draw in the pattern sequencer for the matrix so you would right click create track for matrix and then you make the pattern for it by clicking right here and then you just draw in the pattern selection wherever you wanted it so here would be where my roll is of course that's not how might not be how you want to do your roll but that is an option you can also use the redrum too any kind of sequencer will work for that. Um, another way you've seen me do it in my last couple videos is using addictive drums. Addictive drums is awesome to me. Um, depending on what ad packs you have, even if you don't have an ad pack, um, there are some that come with it. Previews, and you could use those. It'll be, you'll be limited to a few drums, but here you can see what's in this ad pack, the session percussion, basic dance hall. So I'm just going to click here to keep it open and I'm going to make sure I have this selected. And here are my toms. So if you're making a roll, you just want to make sure it sounds cohesive. So. If that sounds good as a roll to you, then you could do that. And basically what I'm doing is just hitting the notes in succession and making a rhythm. So here are the ones I have. Fairfax, Real Machine, Session per Percussion, Vintage Dry. So I'm going to go with Vintage Dry. And... Uh, So you see right over here, that's where I'm getting my noise from. Many times that's what a fill is. You can do whatever you want to do. Now this is really dry to me, honestly. So um, if I was to create a quick melody just to show you how that would go and what the roll would sound like then I would do it this way. So I'm going to create a melody. Cool. 
cool, so I have my quick melody going. Command A, F8. I'm gonna do these side by side. Drag out this last note. Turn it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you what I've been talking about. Now my roll is right here. So what you just heard was the quantization in action. So when you're doing your rolls, you want to make sure you have the proper quantization set. So I usually set it to 116 here and then go from there. So it would actually sound like this. See how this goes. If it's still not picking up, you go in and fix it manually. Sometimes it's really finicky. I actually think I was doing uh, one ace, so we could do it like this. And then uh, quantize it from there. And that'll be on time, actually. So, it's really up to you and how you want it to sound, what what rhythm you want with it. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. If you have any questions about this, let me know. It's all culture.